Okay, so first I would like to touch on the our opponents um, claim that uh, it that self esteem is not affected by these beauty pageants. Um, according to an article called "The Ugly Truth to Child Beauty Pageants," um, it's quoted that their these children are being judged by their looks. Literal judgment can destroy the girl's sense of self-worth and beauty, causing long-term damage. Now this damage can be um, minimal or it can um, be, it has a wide range, but um, can lead to serious uh, effects in the future, such as depression, eating disorders, um, huge things like that, that are detrimental to the health of these kids, um, especially if it's continued on to after adolescence and throughout their lives. Um, and that's one of our main concerns is the health of these kids. Um, I just want to touch on the topic also that natural pageants um, are a better alternative. Um, that was their claims. Um, I just wanted to say that they aren't, they, they may be less expensive, but um, in reality these um, people get into very involved in these pageants and realistically they wouldn't take an old pair of shoes that were in their closets. Um, they get really hyped over these events and um, more, more times than not they don't, um, they go above and beyond uh, to win these pageants because it's exciting and reinforcing for both the parents and the kids. Um, that's part of the winning sense of the pageant in general. Um, so uh, I just want to talk about the finance of these pageants. According to um, a demand on media article, beauty pageants are expensive and some parents use money that could be spent on education. The average cost of a pageant dress um, can be up to $1,000. Entry fees for pageants typically cost $100 to $200. Most pageants require contestants to wear several outfits, not just one. Um, which will raise the price tag even further, not to mention travel expenses. Um, so yes, correct, natural pageants would be um, a little bit less of a financial strain, but um, there are, they still face the uh, facts that uh, most pageants aren't in every local city, that pageants are most often traveled to, so that's an expense. Um, multiple outfits, um, that's another expense. Uh, but yeah, sure, the entry fees might be a little less, but still, on average, they're 100, so um, at least 100. Um, you're saying that um, s that these kids are exposed to um, body image in the media um, uh, on a daily basis, so why is it that pageants, um, why do we need to get rid of pageants? Uh, we need to, <coughs> ban them because um, we, just because society portrays something doesn't mean maybe it's for the better health of uh, the general public. Uh, so why would we go ahead and reinforce something we already know that is uh, in fact detrimental um, and that we are admitting to isn't the best and it is um, in our media today. Why would we uh, morally uh, just re re reinforce that? subject if it's against our beliefs. Um, um, also just to end this off, um, uh, these pageants do affect these kids in a harsh way, um, self-esteem and um, mental and physical health um, because they are, at a, they are at a vulnerable phase at this young age.